everybody. I'm Arlen Bento Jr. And I'm Ken Pierce. And we're the Power Swing Guys. Arlen, I get a lot of questions from people, and frankly, I, I used to experience this quite a bit myself. Uh, they all say to me, I'm, I slice. What do I do to get rid of my slice? You know, the majority of people, if they're going to have a bad golf shot, it's that they slice the ball. And so they ask me that. You're the instructor. And let's figure out how, how do we do that? How do we fix the slice? Well, the slice is pretty much everyone's main problem. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. the instinct that we have to hit the ball that causes the club to do some things that cause it to happen. Right. And there is no exact perfect thing to fix it. Right. But what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a very, very important element of the swing that if you work on, it'll really help your slice disappear. Okay. And we're going to use the power swing trainer mm -hmm. to kind of put the club into the proper plane position. All right. To keep the club on the right plane is very important. First step, or few steps, on eliminating the slice. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So I'm going to have Ken kind of swing down the line, or at least set up. Okay. And he's going to put on the power swing trainer, and Ken's going to get into his posture, and he's going to get to his backswing position. And what we want Ken to work on, so that you at home can work on this, is you have to get the feeling of the club coming down into the impact position. We don't want to have the club come over the top. We don't want anything like that. We want the club to be pulled down as you start the downswing. And that is an extremely important element. Mm -hmm. For most of you out there watching, if you're slicing, I guarantee you, you're not bringing the club down under the swing plane. Okay. So again, let's demonstrate real quick. Top of the swing, we want you to feel the club to come down, which is here. It comes down the line, closer to his body. It does not get out in front of his arms and shoulders. It stays behind him, which allows him to bring the club from the inside into impact. Okay? So those of you at home that are watching this, go out and, and get a club and find a mirror and take a look at your swing and try to get yourself to pull the club inside, inside and down. Inside, inside. And that'll help you a lot with eliminating your slice. And when they go to practice, you want to just keep doing that, bring it inside, inside, inside. Always from the inside. That's the number one reason people slice. They come over the top and they hit the ball from the outside. Okay. Well, there you go. That's one way to get rid of your slice right away. So practice that. And we're the Power Swing guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching.